joining us next is, are we going to Australia? Patricia Madronio is joining us from our EBC Australian Bureau. Patricia? Hello, Alma. Thank you. Hello, um, Patricia. Today in Australia, today in Australia, uh, while the number of COVID-19 cases continue to rise, the effect of the preventative measures put into place is also finally becoming apparent as the race as the rate of infections begins to slow. Over 300,000 tests have been conducted across Australia, and the number of new confirmed cases per day has been steadily trending downwards from around 450 new confirmed cases a day to only about 120 a day this week. Mm -hmm. The collective effort of um, self-quarantining and minimizing the spread of the virus continues to be strictly issued by the Australian government prohibiting social gatherings of more than two participants and allowing people to only leave their home for essential trips. These include medical checkups, buying food and groceries, exercising and working for those in essential fields. Those who go against these implementations are being dubbed quarantine flouters and are being charged for leaving their homes unnecessarily and risking themselves and the public. Many families isolating in their homes have taken to reporting their neighbors who do not follow the quarantine measures. Across Australia, our over 300 fines have been issued to people blatantly ignoring the 1.5 meter social dis distancing rules. Each Australian state has a different approach to mitigating the spread of COVID-19 and restrictions vary in each state. Some states have even tighter restrictions on reasons for leaving one's home. And some have even prohibited learner drivers from driving unless they are specifically heading to the supermarket. Additionally, the previous panic buying stage seems to have come to an end, with grocery stores now having essential items in stock regularly. However, there is now difficulty finding exercise equipment as many families have prepared for the isolation by setting up home gyms and workout spaces. Currently trending on social media, ways to pass time at home, Instagram get to know me challenges and recommendations for exercise and cooking all in an effort to encourage people to stay in isolation and to keep the spirits high while reducing the spread of COVID-19. A free application called House Party, which enables its users to play card and trivia games through video call, has had a recent increase in popularity to being the sixth most downloaded app in several countries since early April this year. Also introduced is the use of video calling applications to work out with groups of friends or for students to simply sit and work through their schoolwork together or to collaborate on projects, which mimics a class environment. Nature walks have also become popular with families looking to take their children outside for some fresh air and exercise, all while maintaining social distance and preventing contact with other people. One could even say that while this pandemic has had many negative outcomes, the circumstances have brought families closer. Earlier complaints by younger generations were that they found that they had no hobbies other than going out with friends and spending money. I believe that this has certainly also allowed the youth to become more reflective and come back in touch with or begin new hobbies such as learning an instrument, creating art and exercising. Um, that's all, Alma. All right. Thank you very much, Patricia, for that update. We'll be seeing you more. Thank you. Thank you, Alma. This is Patricia Madronio reporting from Gold Coast, Australia. We live in interesting times.